What is going on, guys? This is Platinum Point, and I'm here to bring you guys yet again another White Shorts deck profile. This is another English one. I decided to showcase my Sword Art Online Alicization build because I was kind of inspired by the world champion Riaz Muhammad playing it at the White Shorts Invitational. So I decided, you know what, I want to showcase my take on alicization since the deck's actually pretty good it has some it's not as um doesn't has have much of a wider toolkit as regular style does but with the toolkit it has you can actually make a really strong aggressive deck with this and the build that i choose to focus on uses the one step ugo combo from the trial deck and the Kirito Climax combo finisher. So this deck ultimately what you need what this deck wants to do is basically um thin your deck out to get all the pieces you need for each turn while you're aggressively slamming climax down. And your goal is to get enough experience which is the total um card levels the level <clears throat> the total level in the cards in the in your level zone so like um if you have a level three a level two and a level one the experience is six since they're basing it off of the level of the cards in the in your level zone so the goal is to get at least an experience six and above so you can make kirito really big and then launch it with the with demonic sword gram so you can guarantee the climax combo and just basically kill them from there. So it's a very high, highly aggressive deck that shoots for um, con a consistent finish. So that means you have to be very careful with your resource management and making sure that you have all the pieces that you need for the for the next two turns, like in advance. So you kind of want to plan two turns ahead with this deck. So without further ado, let's get on with the deck profile. So starting with the level zeros, um, I'm playing four copies of the Kirito Oversize, which is the formal former appearance Kirito. I know you could run the Bercoli, um, the the Bercoli Oversize, but I like this one better because it not only it it um, fixes for blue, so that you need a lot. Um, this deck does kind of need a lot of blue fix for the one step. You have a decent amount of green fix in the Cardinal JC, so, but you don't have um, a decent blue fix because sometimes you'll level blue instead of I meant level green instead of blue, because if, if you don't have the Kirito in your clock by the time you level up, but you have green, you're gonna level the green and then clock the blue level zero from hand just to kind of guarantee the the um the color the color fixing plus it's a really nice oversize and it the pay, giving your opponent the pay to encore is really not that is really negligible at level zero cents who's going to pay to encore at zero at the zero step um next we play sorry we actually play four copies of the cardinal jc in my opinion, JCs are are a four of because it helps prevent um, on reverse um, climax combos, and it also helps you save cr crucial resources if you have to board them for a swing. So Cardinal protects them, and oftentimes I do find myself boarding a brainstormer and two Cardinals and then just swinging, and then just um, rescuing the brainstormer with the JC. So it's it's all about that consistency and just being able to aggressively slam um, a full board and then climax comboing. I mean just slamming full board and climax. Next we play four copies of the search brainstorm. This is the only brainstorm that this deck has and it's probably one of the best plusing zeros in, in this deck. Um, I know some builds play the level 3 Alice Ricky. But um, one, I'm not a, I'm not willing to kind of fork over money for Ricky's that we might get um, different ones in the second set. 
So I decided I needed something that could fix for my red. So I decided to play three copies of the um, preparation for the load test administrator. So this card is actually really good, in my opinion, um, because it does the same thing as Alice, where you get to mill through your deck. This mills two cards, and it ha it has this um, same um, opportunity to salvage in the form of a pay one, discard one, salvage. But the best part about this is the first effect, which is the mill effect. So if you're going up against a level 3, when you're trying to kill them at level 3, and you have abundant, you know you still have level 0s in the deck, and you have this in hand, you can just play this, mill 2, and it gains the ability. If it, if one of the one of the cards that you mill from the 2 is a 0, you get to side for no, pe for no soul penalty. So this allows you to kind of... Um, push for relevant damage without surrendering board and allows you to dig for the kitty toe that you need so you can pay one grab the key, the three two kitty toe play the three two kitty toe dig for the the climax marker the ugo and then you got free you got a free side so you don't have to work if you are scared about backups or risk counters you this is a free way to bypass that since it's a side for two when you mill the zero and then lastly for the zeros we play two copies of the Life Chain Alice. So this is basically a pay one to a Fleck Light. Top four check and add any card among them. So this allows you to dig for pieces that you need. Mainly either the 2-1 the um, Demonic Sword Gram or Missing Climax that you need for the Climax combo. And that's it for the zeros. For the level one, we play four copies of the Trial Deck UGO Climax combo, which combos with the book so this is basically your maguro climax combo on attack when this climax is played and if you have another fluff light character yeah you get to top four check so this allows you to dig for all the necessary pieces that you need and it's the best non-interactive climax combo that you can feasibly run um next we just play the Body into Sword Kirito, which is basically the, um, the Kirito Rizu, I meant not Kirito, Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, this is the Body into Sword Yu-Gi-Oh, which is basically the determination with life on the line Kirito. On play, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a Fluff Light, it gains plus 2k, and when it gets sent to the waiting room, top 3 check, add a, add a Fluff Light character. Or is it weapon as well? No, just fluck light, and then add it to your hand and discard. So this is your um, one of your main form of hand fixing at the zero at the one step next to the other hand fixing tool that I run, which is the page tease, which fetches the climax combo UGO from the trial deck. So this allows you to basically get whatever you. Whenever you need to launch the Climax combo and you're looking for the pieces and you have this in hand, you get to fetch it off of the TZ and basically get a free Climax combo consistently every turn. So, like, as you can see, this deck, the main goal of this deck is to launch Climax, slam in for damage, and basically get the pieces that you need, which is really good. It's a very simple game plan, but it's an effective one. So now for the two-step, I play one copy of the 2-1 Administrator. This is basically a level 3 Assassin, since it gains 6k when it faces a level 3, and when you play Climax, it gains 1500, so this can get over most level 3s, and this is your main level um, 3 answer. I'm thinking about adding one more copy of this, just so I can have um, not only the color, but the experience requirement for um, for the for Kirito, since she's a quick way to get experience and color on board so kind of a nice way to kill two birds with one stone next i play two copies of the girls of age ronnie ronnie and tz so this is basically your, your level your main level booster and it's a climax swapper on play which is fine if you need to you don't always need to do that because you have many ways to get the the red is it the knight sword or the red sword the red rose sword from um, your waiting room. So you have many ways to get the red rose sword into your hand. But you mainly use this for its third effect, which is tap, give a UGO or Kirito plus 1500. So this allows you to make the 3-2 Kirito really 
just ridiculously big so you can guarantee the reverse. And w pairing with the Demonic Sword Gram, you just make sure you just guarantee the reverse on really fat walls while at the same time denying your opponent from playing events and backups. So just as I mentioned, I play four copies of the Demonic Sword Gram. If you don't know what it does, what it does is when you play this, you choose one character, it gains plus 3k, and then for the rest of your turn, you cannot, for the rest of that turn, your opponent cannot play events or backups, so you are free to swing in after that. So this is kind of like part of your main win condition. You play this on the Kirito with the marker, and then you just pump it to a ridiculous number, swing in on, and then play Climax and just swing in and try to go for the kill. And then that's it for the level 2s. The level 3s we play is 3 copies of the early play UGO, which is an early play heal. And if you have Kirito in your level, you can send this to the waiting room to salvage the Red Rose Sword from your waiting room into your hand. And it pairs well with the Night Sky... Is it? Yeah, the Night Sky Colored Hero Kirito. So when he comes into play... You get all you, you get to draw two, discard one, and pull a Yu-Gi-Oh from the waiting room and place it under this as a marker. And if you have an experience six or higher, this gains plus fifteen hundred, so it becomes an eleven K. And on climax combo, it has two effects. So on reverse, you get to burn one, and if you do reverse it, you have the option to pay two discard two, burn three. So this card, this card is basically your main win condition as it is basically three instances of damage in one card. So it's basically like Mikasa, except it does it's a burn one and three instead of a burn one. Swing for two or three, then burn three, then burn one. So it's a swing for three, burn one, burn three. So it's so it it it, it follows the same logic. And the cost is a little bit big, bigger than Mikasa, but it's worth it. So it hits similar numbers, and if you do it right and you board more than one... Normally you just need two um, of these Kiritos to close the game, since most of the time the second, the third character you're going to play is either going to be the Administrator, so you can side for zero soul penalty, which is really nice, and, or... You're just going to have a chump block and the sword gram and you're just going to swing for for precision damage and multiple instances of lethality. So this this deck is pretty the deck profile is pretty much over. So um this deck is actually really extremely aggressive. I like it because with a small 3 3 lineup you actually can do a lot of damage with it, and you can actually sustain pretty decently with this deck, and compress really well. So, um, it's kind of an interesting build that I normally wouldn't go into, but since we have a card like Demonic Sword Gram that kind of makes it easy for you to guarantee reverses and guarantee that your opponent cannot play Climax... I'm in that climax on backups and anti-damage. It just makes it really, really reassuring. So you don't have to worry about rest counters, anti-damage when you when you launch the gram. So, kind of one thing I would suggest if you're playing this deck is try to find more um, utility cards in the red, because having the, that just more red in your deck just to guarantee the either the experience and just the levels needed to just launch this without having to clock a red is really key. So overall, I like this deck. I hope you guys like this video. Sorry if it's a bit um, rushed. I am kind of trying to pump out as much videos as I can. So the next deck profile you guys will be seeing from me is going to be... I am probably going to be doing an update on my Goblin Slayer deck, um, my other build for Slime. 
I also have, um, give me a sec. I also plan on doing a deck profile on Japanese Data Live, so that way you guys can see what to expect if when this comes into English. So hopefully I'll be doing one of these three deck profiles in the next video. So don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. False crack that like button. And peace out YouTube.